Hello, lovelies. Welcome to Lessons from the Universe with Jennifer Hall. I look forward to sharing my channeled message with you today. And if you love it, please like, share, review, and subscribe. Let's talk about health today. A lot of people come to talk to me and they've got some health concerns or misdiagnosis, things like that. And also, as we awaken, we become more aware of our body. And so a lot of times people have fears and concerns about their health that are very truly paranoia based on their newfound awareness. As we awaken, we become more aware of our bodies. We can literally feel the functions of our system, of our machine. It's like a mechanic who can hear the engine and know exactly what's wrong with it. You can feel subtle hormonal changes. You can feel blood pumping through places you've never noticed before. Maybe it's something simple like being aware of your ovulation or, forgive me, TMI, but you can even feel your poop moving through your body. And this can freak people out. Then they go and they get on, you know, WebMD or something, and man, you go there and everything is cancer. So be very clear. A lot of times what you are afraid of is actually just a new awareness. So if you have been going through this spiritual growth process and suddenly you are deciding, thinking, believing that there are things wrong with your body, check and see if that is in your brain and if what's really going on here is that you have become aware of how your machine works and operates. Because remember, you are the driver of the car. You are the spirit in the flesh suit. And we become aware of that the same way we do, well, in anything that we would specialize in over time and effort, right? Now, all that said, there are obviously some legitimate health concerns in the world, but I do find that many, 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 many of them actually have a same common thread. And a lot of times that is toxicity. There are all kinds of over-toxifications of the body and we live in a world that is full of it. So it is very common for people to be poisoned by all kinds of things, not the least of which is fragrance. Um, there are so many chemical smells in the world. Like every product has one and God forbid, people are plugging these plugins and similar products into their walls and filling up every room with chemical. Think about this for a minute. You are breathing that in. It goes into your lungs. It permeates through those very thin, thin cell walls and right into your bloodstream. This is poison and it effectively puts what I call magic shell on the brain. Some of you may know what that means. Um, maybe I'm aging myself, but this is like a syrup that you put on your ice cream and it gets hard. It turns into a shell, you know, like a dip cone at Dairy Queen. You are putting a coating on your brain. This screws with your emotions. It screws with your thoughts and it certainly screws with your intuitive reception. So if you are seeking glowing health, if you are seeking spiritual clarity, fragrances need to be eliminated or at least really, really greatly reduced in your life. Another one of these things is plastic, right? Like I know the FDA says that it's BPA free or whatever and it's safe, but let's be clear, there are chemicals in plastic and when plastic gets heated up, it does release. So. I don't really care, guys. If you are buying your water out of the refrigerator, that's great. But at one point in time, it was in a truck. It was in a warehouse. It got heated up and chemicals released. Now, I'm no saint, okay? Every once in a while, you got to grab a bottle of water. I get it. But most of the time, don't do that. Don't drink out of plastic. And please do not eat any food that has been heated up in plastic. This is simply not good for you. The research is out there, you can look it up. There are chemicals that can be found in your blood cells. Oh my gosh, you know, I've helped a whole ton of people get pregnant and one of the key factors is eliminating plastic. When those chemicals are in your bloodstream, honey, your womb is made out of blood. Let's be clear, you need pure clean blood. There's also something, and you can Google this too if you want to, they call it chemical fat. 
That is where the chemicals from plastic and other things are literally trapped inside of your fat cells. And when they're trapped there, your body can't eliminate them. We're putting these chemicals, these toxins, plastics into our body every single day. And our body goes, oh, this is normal. I'll let it stay. And so people end up with fat they cannot lose. When you eliminate adding more plastics into your life, over time, your body recognizes this foreign substance again, and it will start to attack it. When I quit drinking out of plastic every day, the literal shape of my body changed. This is fact based on my own experience, and there is science out there, and I've watched hundreds and hundreds of people change their health, change their lives, change their body with that simple switch. So, you know, personal health and spiritual growth are truly intertwined. And sometimes spirit will use the body to give us a message, teach us a lesson, or even kick us in the balls. You know, I, oh boy. Okay, so I'll throw myself under the bus. Uh, Years ago, after an experience that scared me, I really did everything I could to try and shut down my spiritual gifts. I knew that I needed to stop that, that I needed to get my energy under control and focus this thing. And I kept ignoring it. And so the universe, after many, many nudges and pushes, decided it would go after my health. I ended up with uh, an override of parasites in my blood. I ended up with lupus and adult onset asthma so bad I wore an inhaler on a bracelet. Then I got bumps all over my face and they turned out to be staph infection. I hate to say that attacking my vanity is the straw that broke my back, but inevitably it was. I I couldn't ignore that anymore and I had to get well. And so I began to change all of my health choices and I learned to get my energy under control. I asked the universe to help me and things began to change for me. I cut out plastics. I I was very strict. I wanted to be well, and I wanted to be well quick. I know this isn't realistic to everybody, but this is what I did. I completely eliminated plastics. I completely eliminated fragrances, and I began to follow something called the blood type diet. Now, I read the entire book. It's like six inches thick, okay? The science is good. And I have had one person tell me it was insane, but I have seen hundreds, including myself, heal their bodies with this diet. I don't even like that the word diet is in it because it's not like any other diet. Basically, in a nutshell, they tested different foods in different blood types, and they give you a chart and this is something you can access online for free. They have an app even. You know, they want you to have this information. So basically, they break foods into three categories. There's the beneficial list. These are foods that behave like medicine in your body. There is a normal list. This is food that's energy. Now, they do warn you that if you go straight beneficial, you won't get enough energy and you'll sort of swing to the other side of sick, okay? Now, following the whole thing is is challenging and can be confusing and overwhelming. What you really need is the third list, your avoid list. So if you know you're a type A, you can Google type A blood type diet avoid list and you can get your list. If you don't know your blood type, you can get a test on like Amazon. It's 10 bucks, you prick your finger, it turns a color. The foods on your avoid list are foods that behave like poison in your blood. So you get this list and you say, oh shit, all of these foods have bleach in them and I'm not going to eat them anymore. Now, for me, it was a combination of things I love and things I hate. But what was most striking was that even though at that point in my life, I was eating healthier than I ever had before and truly than I ever have since, every single one of my daily staples was on that avoid list. And when I began to avoid them, and I began to get my empathic energy under control and carefully, willingly open up to my spiritual gifts. I healed dramatically, quickly. And I was very strict on this sort of diet regimen until I was well. Then I started to introduce things back into my life. And now I pretty much eat whatever I want. I'm not 
bound by that. The truth is we can develop sensitivities over time because it gets built up in our body. And for me, it was built up. My lymphatic system, like many, many, many of you, was completely overtaxed. It is very common for me to have somebody come in and in my notes, I already have, we need to work on this person's lymphatic system. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's the filter of the body. It runs all through the body, down the inside of the legs, all around your reproductive organs, down your arms, all around your head. It's all through you. It is a filter with no pump. And so it can get full like any other filter. It fills with every medication you ever had, every time you ever got too drunk, um, and emotions as well. And so at some point in time, this can get very full and very toxic. And again, this is something that clearing out can change the physical shape of your body as well. I decided at this same point in time that I was so ill to just go after my lymphatic system. And so I did everything that I recommend. You could pick one, <laughs> okay? Um, I mean, the truth is you could get a dry brush and you could work it out yourself. But if you want to get well and you want to get well quick, there is something called lymphatic drainage massage. These are people who have been trained to target the lymphatic system. And so they help move things through your body for you. A regular massage does this to some extent. That's why they always tell you, drink a lot of water, or you could get sick to your stomach, right? Um, also, acupuncture. So I did massage and acupuncture, and I did the easiest, cheapest thing that everybody could do. And I got one of these little trampolines you get for like $20 at Target, right? They call it a rebounder. You jump on that thing for one minute a day. Now, I'm telling you, a minute is harder than you think <laughs> the first time that you do it. But what that literally does is it shakes up the lymphatic system and it helps get it moving and loose. Sort of happy side note, you can also feel every fat cell on your body jiggling and that does help it oxygenate and ultimately helps you get rid of that as well. So these are some strategies for the lymphatic system that can help you clear it out and get it handled, okay? Now, all of these processes can also help with something called candida. I don't know how many of you have heard of candida, but candida is a natural yeast you have in the body. And most of us, based on our diet of sugar and carbs, <laughs> have an overgrowth of candida. This has tons of negative effects on your body. And it's important if you are having symptoms that seem strange and unexplained that you test yourself for candida. There is a spit test you can do yourself at home with a glass of water. I'm going to suggest, instead of explaining it, though it's quite simple, it's also a little bit gross, um, just Google Candida spit test and check yourself for Candida, okay? Now, if you have it, don't freak out because most of us have it to some extent. And don't buy some crazy expensive cleanse. Look at the diet-related and supplement-related ways to get rid of your Candida. Now, all that said, we're working our way back to what is truly the most important thing about our health. And that is that it is without fail a reflection of our thinking. There is a wonderful tool that anybody can get. You can get on Amazon, <laughs> okay? It's a book by Louise Hay. For those of you who know who Louise Hay is, I'm sure your ears just perked up because she's quite lovely. Um, it is called Heal Your Body A to Z. Now, she does have a book called Heal Your Body. While that is wonderful, that is not the book I am talking about. I'm talking about Heal Your Body A to Z. It is essentially a dictionary, an encyclopedia of symptoms and illnesses, and it aligns that symptom or illness or injury with a thought pattern and then an affirmation you can use to heal it. Now, pretty much any time you look something up, it is going to nail you on the head and you're going to be like, oh shit, that's me. No wonder. Okay. Now, sometimes you have to let it roll around in your head a little bit. Now, I am not denying actual physical law right? We can be exposed to things. We can have an accident. We can trip and fall. There will be illness. There will be injury. But the type of illness, the type of injury is a reflection of what has been going on in our thinking. 
if you fall down the stairs, you will get hurt. But if it is your right hip versus your left elbow, this will have a different message to you based on what is going on in your own thinking. And for those of us who've been asking the universe, tell me, show me what is next. And it has been whispering in our ear and showing us signs that we seem oblivious to. It will begin to use our health to send us messages. So look it up. Pay attention. Right? You can heal yourself very, very quickly. You know, I'll give you a very simple um, example without giving you too many personal details. But I had an issue in my life with a loved one. And on the other side of it, I was so happy, right? Like I, I was happy with this person. I was thrilled about the change in our relationship. I liked this person and still do better than ever before. And then one day I got a sty on my eye. And, you know, whenever I get information about an illness, I always check her book and we always agree. So that to me validates the tool. And quite frankly, it's Louise Hay. So it validates me to myself. Anyway, a sty essentially is about holding on to your right to be angry. I had to let this roll around in my head for a minute and then realize quite clearly that despite all of the beautiful flowers that had grown from the manure of experience, I was still holding on to my right to be angry at that person for the bullshit that finally opened their eyes and made them change. And so I began to look at that moment differently, to be thankful for it, to be thankful for the seed and the mud and the manure that feeds it, because from it, beautiful flowers and as soon as I let that gratitude soak in my sty was gone in like an hour those things usually last a week or longer it was gone literally gone thank you god (laughs) right because that shit's not pretty anyway our thoughts do control our health we have to pay attention and you have to be careful what you're thinking and careful what you're saying Because if you say, I'm going to get sick, guess what? You're going to get sick. If you think too much about a disease, you will manifest it. I actually have seen several people get brain tumors. Literally, I have three clients who've had brain tumors. And each of the three of them worked in brain science industries, right? Whether it was neurofeedback or whatever, people who were obsessed with the brain and brain health and thought about this all the time. Now, I'm not saying don't have a job like that. I think that's freaking amazing. Like, please have a job like that. But don't obsess. Don't worry about manifesting that yourself because when you think it, you will, right? I also have a couple of other clients who work in the mental health field. They actually both um, work with... (laughs) They both work with schizophrenia patients, and they have since before they had children. Each of them has a son with schizophrenia. Each of them has admitted to me that while they were pregnant, all I could think about was that this was going to happen to their son. It's not their fault, but our thoughts do help create and propel things. Now, those of you who know me, just side note here, okay? Spirit chooses us to be their mother and then approves of the body. Those spirits that came in as those young men knew what was wrong with that body, and they came anyway. They could have bailed, but they didn't. And so they signed up for that. It's not the parent's fault. But it is an example of how our thoughts create things, put energy behind them, and So when you worry about health concerns, when you worry about the manifestation of dis-ease, you're praying for it. Use your precious energy some other way. Claim, I am healthy and fit. My body works perfectly every day and I am lined with beautiful and glowing health. Use those words, I am, with great commitment and direction. When you say I am, you are claiming that the most divine part of you is aligned with whatever follows behind that sentence. Whether it's I am silly, 
I am healthy. I am sick. I am angry. I'm afraid. I am successful. Choose your words. Affirmative acceptance. Think about that. Every time. Affirmative acceptance. That's what prayer is and that's what your thoughts should be. Because the universe can only do through you what you are aligned to. That is spiritual law. As we discussed before, two plus two equals four. So be aligned with what you want. And pay attention. Pay attention to the signs around you. Pay attention to the whisper in your ear. And also, you know, I'm all about holistic medicine, but I do believe that doctors exist for a reason. So if you are freaked out about something, go to the doctor, get the test, right? Take the test. Get a clear bill of health. Or find out what you need to do to fix it. They exist for a reason. And medicine exists for a reason. Just be sure you use it correctly. Don't take medicine thinking, I am dependent upon this. Don't take it thinking, I will take this for every day for the rest of my life. Think this teaches my body how to behave. They told me nobody gets rid of lupus. But guess what? I don't have lupus. And I haven't touched an asthma inhaler in 15 years. And I'm no saint, people. I eat what I want to eat, right? I don't work out every day, and I like cake. I think we should enjoy our human life. And we should enjoy the fact that the universe supports it. Focus on health, focus on life, focus on joy, and it will find you. Until next time, beloved. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today for this week's episode of Lessons from the Universe. If you love it, please help us attract a bigger audience, more people like you ready to continue down this path to awakening. If you love the podcast, please like, share, review, and let me know how you found me so I can find others just like you. Till next week, beloved. Namaste.